Hi guys, my name is Katra and welcome to the OSHA vlog. Um, I know it's been a long time since my last video and I wanted to thank username SodapopGirl7890 for um, kind of motivating me to post another video. Um, as you guys well know, school is crazy busy and I'm sure it is for you guys too. Um, I just wanted to talk about a couple little things. Um, this is nothing fancy, no editing or anything, but I wanted to put up a quick video during the four day weekend, which I'm so excited about. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is, um, really quick, that Music and Theater's 9th and 10th grade is putting on a musical called Oklahoma, which I'm sure all of you guys have heard about before, and it opens on March 1st through the 4th or 5th, I'm not quite sure. But go to www.ocsarts.com, or no, .net, sorry, <laughs> www.ocsarts.net, and click on the box office to buy tickets if you would like to see their performance. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm going to try to make it. We'll see. Um, a performance I recently went to, which was really great, was the Integrated Arts Showcase. Now I'm just, I went and I was in it last year with a, like my dance class and it's for Integrated Arts only. It's almost like a talent show in a way. And it's just a lot of fun. I had a lot of friends in it and I think they did a really great job. Uh, hopefully one day Integrated will be able to perform inside the web theater, which is kind of the nicer, more professional theater, but right now we're in Symphony Hall, which is good enough. Uh, it's the church that, if you guys don't know, Symphony Hall is an old church that um, OSHA basically, since our, none of our buildings are actual like school buildings, they're just like bot buildings from Santa Ana. Um, basically it's our theater, so it's like our little mini theater, and a lot of our little performances are there, so that was a lot of fun to see, and definitely go check out Oklahoma if you can, it's on their website, you can buy tickets. And um, Let's see what's next. I've got a little list over here. Um, okay, my schedule. So last video I talked about what my new conservatory classes were for 2012. And now that I've gotten to experience some of them, I wanted to share uh, what they're like. So on Mondays, I have plays and playwrights and pop vocals. That um, schedule repeats on Wednesdays as well. Uh, plays and Playwrights is really cool. We just finished reading Much Ado About Nothing by Shakespeare, and now we're watching the movie. And the movie's actually quite hilarious. I didn't expect that. It kind of goes in... It's kind of, like, not completely true to the, like, Shakespearean time. It's just more of a comedy, so... But it's a lot of fun, and um, if you guys like plays and Shakespeare, that's definitely a good class for you guys, although you don't really get to choose an integrated, but just letting you know for those of you going into integrated 10th grade. Um, and then the class after that is pop vocals. That has got to be my favorite class ever, academic, conservatory ever in history, my favorite class. And I think it's because of the teacher. He is amazing. He's a new um, teacher. He, the great thing about my conservatory classes this semester is all the teachers are like working in their profession outside of their class. So it's really awesome to hear about their stories. He's um he's a producer, like a record producer and a pop vocals teacher, and he is very, very honest. And you kind of need that at a school with so much um, talent and dreams and aspirations and, um, you know, people wanting to do different things. So it's nice to have someone honest with you who's going to tell you how, what it's like about the music industry and how to, you know, just everything. We haven't gotten into too much because obviously it's still the beginning of the semester, but it's a wonderful class. I know I'm going to learn so much and I'm really excited because we get to um, record a song in his studio and I've chosen to sing Gravity by Sarah Bareilles. And so when we are finished recording, which is going to be way down the line, but I will share you guys, share it with you guys, the experience and the recording and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited. Um, so that's Mondays and Wednesdays. Now Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have um, film genre and broadcast journalism. Film genre is really great. We're just like basically watching a bunch of movies and movie clips and dissecting um, movies, which is a lot of fun because that's obviously what I want to go into. And um, it's wonderful to, to have that kind of pop culture reference um, because there's so many things you get like assimilated to in this class. So I'm really happy about that class. And right now we just finished the um, musical genre. So we watched Singing in the Rain and we learned about musicals and now we're on the Western genre. Not my favorite, but you know, it's good to know about. And um, so that's that class. And afterwards we have broadcast journalism. And um, some of you guys know that I do some interviews or I used to do some interviews for a site called Sweetie High. Um, and 
so that's fun. We're starting to interview and learning about broadcast journalism. It's more va- advanced class. I know they also have a broadcast journalism class for the eighth grade integrated arts kids. This is just like a more advanced class. Of course, I never got to experience the eighth grade integrated arts class because I came in to OSHA in ninth grade. So um, overall, my conservatory classes are amazing. It's what get me through the day. Um, I really enjoy them and I'm actually learning some things that are really going to be applicable to the career I want to go into. So that's really important for someone like me. So that's just me sharing with you guys what it's like. Um, so I guess I'll go on, I'll shift gears a little bit and, um, talk about next year's classes that I'm going to be getting. Now, for those of you, um, I don't know if all schools are like this, but OSHA register, like, has you register for your classes that you're going to take the next year in February of the year before. So it's kind of early, but they have a lot to figure out class-wise, so I guess they need that much time. But, um, and then, you know, when you're in 10th grade, they start the college talk, and then, oh, ooh, stressful. But not even going to get into that. <sighs> OSHA's very good with college, so if you need help with that sort of thing and you need classes for that sort of thing, OSHA's the place to go, that's for sure. Um, but I'll tell you what classes I've signed up to take next year. Um, and of course, I don't know what for sure I get until I get my schedule in August, but I'm just going to tell you. I know it's kind of early, but I think it's kind of interesting. So, um, I hopefully will be taking Linton Comp 3, um, TAP 2, Spanish 3, um, I'm going through my schedule now and trying to figure out what, okay, U.S. History, uh, psychology, really excited about that. I hope I get in because everyone wants that class. So I'm hoping I get in and, um, algebra two. So, um, hopefully I get those classes. It's kind of junior year is going to be kind of like my last hard hitting academic year. I'm going to take a lot more electives senior year, which I'm really excited about. Some electives I'm looking into for senior year are possibly acting technique one. Um, yes, they, uh, they offer so many different elective classes at OSHA. It's wonderful. So acting technique one, improvisation, and vocal ensemble. So those are kind of the ones I'm gearing towards. Um, but I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys are too, those of you who, you know, any school you're at. Or that's not correct grammar. Any school you are in. Do not use at. Do not end your sentence with a preposition. Anyway. God, I'm in a really weird mood. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Looking at my list, what's next to talk about? Uh, oh, my other channel. So, I do not remember if I touched on this in my last video. It's been a while. But I have another YouTube channel, and it's for me personally as a person, nothing to do with my school at all. Um, YouTube.com slash, slash Katra Parkman. I will post a link in the side bottom wherever the bar is I will post a link um basically there I'll be posting and I've already posted one or two um monologues songs the like um if you could go check that out that'd be it'd mean a lot to me you don't have to whatever if you're interested go subscribe um more things are coming to that channel soon um I've already got like 300 views I think on one of my monologues so that's exciting for me I feel like it's weird because when you post something like that, I think a lot more people search that sort of thing. So I think that's why it gets more views and like, let's say these videos, because these don't come up unless you type in OSHA and there's only very certain people typing in OSHA into YouTube. But anyway, I just thought I'd observe that. I observe that and I cannot talk. What is wrong with me? Ah. Okay. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So if you're interested, go check out my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Katra Parkman. Um, that'd be awesome. Thanks. And now on to you guys. I know many of you are in the throes of all your auditions for OSHA and that makes me really excited. Sometimes I see people waiting to audition at my school like during the school day and I am so excited for you guys. I hope, gosh, and of course no, not everyone's gonna get in, but I really am hoping and wishing that you guys do your very best and that you get a lot out of the experience and I hope um, that you get what you want. So when you guys start getting your information, informational slash acceptance letters, uh, which probably won't come for a while, but when they do, 
make sure to message me immediately and tell me whether or not you got in. Um, I want to compile something about people who got in and didn't get in and what their takes were on the auditions. If you want to tell me about your auditions, please do. I would love to hear about it. Um, maybe I, I will like describe or put some videos or I don't really know exactly what, but I'd like to share with people what your auditions were like. Um, because I've only auditioned for what I got in for. So I don't, I only have my integrated experience. So I, I would like everyone's experience from all the different conservatories. Um, especially culinary arts. I don't know if any of you guys are going for culinary arts, but since that's a new conservatory to OSHA, I would love to hear about it because I know nothing, literally nothing about it. I don't even know where the kitchens are. So I would like to have info on the culinary arts conservatory. Um, so that's basically it. Always know guys that questions are open on my channel. Message me anytime. I may not post videos, but it doesn't mean I'm not here. Like I check my computer all the time and I can message you back. I message everyone back the same day they message me. Um, almost every time. It's just videos sometimes just don't work out. Sometimes I don't have anything really to talk about in videos. Just know that I'm here. I'm here to answer questions and to message you guys and whatnot and when something Every once in a while I'll post a video kind of wrapping everything up like I'm doing in this one. Um, yeah, so I am sorry for the absence, but like I said, I'm not really absent. I'm just absent video wise. So go check out my other channel and go like the Osha Vlog Facebook page. And thanks for all your guys' support. Um, and thank you guys for taking interest in Osha. We need people who want to be at this school, who want to learn, who want to follow their hobbies or their passions or their dreams or whatever it may be. Uh, we're really happy to have you guys and um, I wish you all the best. So thank you for watching this really rambly, sort of odd video. But I guess they're all kind of rambly and sort of odd. That's just me. So thanks for sticking with me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Happy February. Bye.